How do folks you're watching, Deuce? I was watching a video here recently on YouTube from the uh, Slow Mo guys. And if you're not familiar with them, they're a very, very large YouTube channel, way larger than mine. And what they do is they have these incredibly expensive and high tech slow motion cameras, and they capture the world in weird scenarios and then slow it way down so we can see exactly what's going on. It's a very cool channel, a very cool channel. I highly recommend it if you've not heard of it before. You probably have though. This video is in response to their video regarding the speed of a bullet versus the speed of breaking glass. Okay, folks, we are in my editing station. And if a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video of the subject matter is worth many times that. As you can see right above me here, does glass break faster than a bullet? And this is the slow mo guys that I was telling you about. This is what the, the video is about, this video itself. All right, got it queued up here, and you can see right there. We have the glass going across the screen very quickly, and there is the nine millimeter bullet, not going very fast at all. So let's pause it right there and take a look at that because unfortunately they use miles per hour on all of their speeds usually on their, on their videos, which is unfortunate for ballistics. It works on many other situations, but not for ballistics. Overseas it's common to use meters per second for the speed of a projectile. In the United States, it's common to use feet per second. I'm using feet per second because that's what I've always used in the past. And that's what I'm used to. And we're going to take a look at this here. So 768 miles per hour equals 1,126 feet per second, which is pretty standard. That's pretty typical speed for a, say about 124 grain, nine millimeter bullet out of a four inch barrel, like they're shooting out of right there. And now the glass is breaking at 3,200 and 14 miles per hour, which equals a crazy 4,713 feet per second. That is insane. But as I said before, I've got something that is faster. The theory is that the speed of the glass breaking is traveling at the speed of sound through the glass because the denser a medium is, the faster sound flows through it. So if you're underwater, sound, the speed of sound is much faster. Through a, an iron rod, the speed of sound is way faster. Through glass, it's somewhere in between. And in air, at ambient temperature, you know, like sea level and all that good stuff, there's a very specific speed of sound, and it is much slower than through glass. In that video, they calculate that the speed of the glass breaking is breaking at 3,200 miles per hour, which is very fast. If you do the calculation involved with that, that comes out to about 4,700 feet per second, which again is very fast. And they hypothesized that there was not a bullet that is commonly available that can keep up with the speed of glass breaking. But I think I do have one here. The AM32 is a German training round that has a plastic bullet. It is super, super fast. This is a 762 by 51 308 if you want to call it that but 762 by 51 ammo it is a 10 grain projectile pushed out by some sort of super fast burning powder and it should exit a normal size barrel at roughly 45 to 4600 feet per second if memory serves me correctly it's been a couple of years since i've shot this over the chronograph but we're going to do that today as proof and just to show my setup here real quick Turn around here, there is my chronograph right there, and it will be recording on my phone. There we go. I'll be recording on my phone. It's a Caldwell chronograph. They work great. It can be downloaded to my phone, and I can show you that real time, the bullet going over the chronograph, and you seeing it on my phone, which I'll put on the screen somewhere. Okay, my eyes are on, my ears are on, all the safety set up. First of all, we're gonna get a baseline with some standard grade nine millimeter, nothing special but we'll be able to see what that looks like through the chronograph and emulate what they found on their video. 1200 feet per second. Very good. That's about what they found on their video as well. And now the blue ammo, the AM32 training ammo from Germany. Make sure I'm getting the light here there and get it nicely lined up here. Oh, so close. Okay, 4,266 feet per second. 
So it's not quite up to the scale of 4,700 feet per second, but way, way closer. Okay, let's try that again here real quick and see if we can get a little bit better, better speed. Alrighty, 5,000 feet per second. There's quite a bit of variance in these rounds, which means the AM32 training ammo from Germany is a contender against the speed of glass breaking. So slow-mo guys, if you're ever in the area of Tennessee or United States in general, let me know. I will be happy to give you a box of that ammo for testing. I know you're based in the United Kingdom. I cannot ship ammunition or any kind of gun parts to the UK. That is against many, many regulations that will get me into um, buku trouble. So, dang it, Larry. The next time you're in the United States and you want to retest this experiment, let me know. I'll be happy to give you a box or two of this super fast ammo. Well, guys, there for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could give me a like and go and subscribe, a lot more is on the way. If you have any comments, questions, show ideas, leave that in the comment box of the video. I try to get them as possible. As always, you guys have a great day. See ya.